In this video, we'll take a look at the navigation and integrated documentation features of Illuminated Cloud. Virtually everything I'll be showing can be found under the Navigation menu or under the Edit menu and Find submenu, but I certainly encourage you to learn the key bindings for enhanced productivity. Let's begin by going to a class by name. With this shorthand, it's showing several classes. We can be more specific with a few more characters and navigate directly to the class. To get to members of the class, we can show the structure view. And by performing type down filtering, we can navigate directly to that member. You might have noticed that this class is actually a subclass of another class, base package class. We can also include inherited members from the base class in the structure view and navigate directly to those. For example, this method in the base class. And of course, we can navigate easily back from the base class to its subclasses. In fact, we can navigate to any related item. For example, in this class, the related items are the base class and the associated metadata file. And from the associated metadata file, we can navigate back to the class itself. Illuminated Cloud's offline symbol table also includes stub apex classes for all S objects in the system. And we can navigate directly to these. Of course, these classes show a very structured view of an S object as opposed to the XML variation. Of course, you can navigate to that XML variation very easily by using go to related and back. We can even show inherited members from the shared base class S object. Here you can see the methods of the shared S object base class. One critically important feature of any modern IDE is the ability to find usages of any identifier. Illuminated Cloud features several methods for doing this. For example, find all usages within the current file. Additionally, you can find all usages in a quick preview. Initially, these are shown within the current project, not counting libraries. But if you change the scope, you can include the libraries, for example, the offline symbol table to show all usages. You can even preview usages from within this view. You can also pin the results of find usages for convenient access and easy navigation. Another powerful navigation feature is GoToSymbol, which allows you to navigate to a symbol by name, for example, a method or member or class variable. In this case, we'll find all methods called isEmpty. This is very useful if you know the name of a method or what a method might be named, and you just need to find it. Now let's look at navigation with regard to visual force. You can navigate directly to a Visual Force page or component using GoToFile. It accepts the same shorthand format as GoToClass. From within a page or component, you can view a structure view just as you can in Apex Class, and it'll show an outline of the Visual Force components and surrounding HTML elements. You can also navigate directly into custom Visual Force components, both by component name and directly to one of the attributes. And now let's take a look at the integrated documentation capabilities. Illuminated Cloud includes integrated documentation for most APEX system classes and Visual Force components. For example, we can pull up the documentation on APEX page messages or APEX page directly in line. Additionally, Illuminated Cloud can create documentation for your custom Visual Force components. Switching back to APEX, you can see that we can bring up documentation for APEX classes as well. For example, here's documentation on the Apex string class. This documentation can be navigated as well. For example, we can scroll down and go to the system namespace and see the other classes in the same namespace. Illuminated Cloud will also show integrated documentation for your custom Apex classes, methods, and fields. You can even create header comments, Javadoc style, to annotate this more clearly. For example, let's say that this returns the list of accounts using HTML markup. And you can see when we show the documentation, it provides both a header as well as an HTML formatted comment. The last feature I'd like to show is method parameters. Illuminated Cloud can show the method parameters, including overloaded signatures for the current method. As you type parameters, it even tracks the position of the current parameter and shows it relative to each signature. This concludes the overview of Illuminated Cloud's navigation and integrated documentation features. Thank you.